Hey, what is up my YouTube family, all you beautiful people. Thanks for joining me for today's video. It's me, Chris Yasanti of King Kuponasi Photography. And today I'm going to talk about my beautiful Adidas baseball cap. Yeah, I'm really loving it. It's, it really fits. It has a nice touch to it. And it's black and it's Adidas. Guys, who's kidding? I don't review hats. I don't review anything sports. I don't review clothes. I don't review hats anyway. Today I'm going to share with you uh, my thoughts on a very, very interesting lens that I was gifted. I really enjoy using the lens. I'm going to share with you some of the pictures I've shot with this lens. And yeah, some of you might be blown away because I doubt some people would consider getting a lens like that. So my question for this video is, would you consider getting a used lens? For question number one. Question number two, and if you will consider getting a used lens, would you check the person you are, who you're buying it from, or would you just, out of a whim, just consider getting a used lens over a new lens, even if you can afford it? That's a question that I, I ask myself usually, and people get people ask me also, and then this is what I, also, I always tell them. People think that you always need a new gear to produce amazing work. Well, it's true that you're only as good as the gear you use, but I, I have come a long way into experiencing how, well, yeah, and if you get new gear, it should improve the way you shoot, but also the gear that you're using, you should have, find a way to use it to the maximum. Learn how to use it so that you can use it to get what you need from it. Because Guys, this is the Sigma 51.4. It's a very old lens. This is their Sigma's old 51.4 lens. And their new one is expensive. It's almost, it's just over 4,000 Ghana CDs. And you can get this one for, I think, 1,003, 1,004, thereabout. And guys, this is used. As you can see, it's beat up. Like, the, the rubber is, is coming off. Like, and it's quite slow when I'm when, when you are focusing with it. It's it's really really quite slow. So I don't really use it for when uh, probably like when I'm shooting events when there's an entry um, bride and bride is coming down and somebody or somebody's moving towards me and I'm walking back and I'm trying to shoot that person. I don't really use this lens for that because it will miss fire or my focus somewhere else, and that is a problem because you need your lenses to be really fast. That is the downside of one of the downsides of getting a used lens, but. A 50 millimeter is a lens that's it's very ideal you can, for portraits and even for events and so that's what I, I use it for now um, I was gifted by this lens from my guys at my guy Derek from timeline creatives shouting out to him you guys should go check his, his page out they do amazing um, amazing work uh, he into wedding photo videography corporates like uh, commercials they are, they are amazing video company and uh, he shot my wedding and so we have we have some some history and then we, we try wed some weddings together as well and around the time that we started shooting that is when i well i noticed this lens and sometimes i'll take it from him and i'll shoot some events from it with at the events that we are shooting and i realized that it's a very very good lens i own the 50 the kind of 51.4 which i sold and because i got my 24 to 70 and i thought that i had a 50 in there but as a Ghanaian, when you go to some of our rooms, they are very small. Uh, we don't have a lot of big window lights, uh, windows letting in a lot of light. So you need a lens that can go lower than f2.8 f so they can let more light in. I was shooting an event, a wedding actually, a traditional marriage. And all I used to capture those pictures that I'll be sharing some of with, with you right now is just this lens, window light. Because they had a big window in the room that the, the bride was sitting close to and a ring light from the makeup artist i'm really considering getting a ring light it's 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 produces it gives you a nice skin tones and everything i digress so back to what i was saying so i used just this lens no flash let me add no flash whatsoever on this lens and it was pretty pretty amazing it was very sharp that's when i realized that if i'm just doing like some close-ups of a, um, of somebody or a couple um some um, detail shots then this i'll use definitely use this lens but not for um subjects that are moving because the 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 motor is slow and because it's 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 old so when what am i saying in this video a lot of people hit me up and say, Chrissy, I want to get this lens or um, I, um, I need advice. I'm trying to purchase this lens or purchase this gear. 
can you recommend any or do you think i should buy and i'll tell you that if you have the money and you want to get it fine do it but if you you are not you don't have so much money to get the gear that you need there are, there are a lot of other options that you can use to get what you need i i, I always say this and i'll never forget this apag i met apag one time um before i actually met him face to face i saw a picture of that he shot like it's, um, this this is some years back actually and i saved the picture i loved it so much so i was hoping that anytime i meet him i could get to ask him and then i did we met at a wedding he was shooting a video at the wedding so i asked him um yo epic how did you what how did you get this picture what did you use and he's like oh bro it was a canon rebel um, rebel camera and an 85 lens i'm like really i thought it was a full frame bear in mind that rebel is a crop sensor camera and the picture looked stunning like it was amazing then so it got me thinking that you know, I don't really need like a Mark 4, a Mark 3, or a Canon 5 DSR, uh, like all those very expensive cameras to get the results that I need. Um, my, the Mark 2 is even so so good. I use a Mark 2 for over over a year, and the pictures I got out of it was amazing with the Canon 1.4, 51.4. So, yeah, if you want to buy gear, like look at um, your pockets, look at what you 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 want to purchase, and look for alternatives you can get used gear but try and test it before before you buy and check the reviews and if let's let's say you want to buy something for me you can you can you can check it out and see if it's, it's good because there's nothing wrong with buying used gear i i own some used gear this for example and some of the stuff that i i i, I owned i bought my 185 used from two people actually it was for someone and the person bought it from somebody else and i bought it from the person and i've had the lens for that lens for i think over, over a year yeah and then it's serving me so well people even actually want to buy it from me so uh, there's nothing wrong with buying used gear you just have to buy check it before you buy it and it's going to serve you well hey guys thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this content please do leave a like and a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the coming future and if you haven't Please go to my Instagram and check my page out and do follow me for beautiful and amazing photos. I'm going to catch you in the next one. So keep me over again next week. Let's keep shooting. Let's stay inspired. Community in our competition.